Gunslinger Cow here. Showcasing knives. Reviewing knives. My name's Kalen. Welcome. Hey, good morning everybody. Kalen here on a Thursday morning. Coming to you with another video. Uh, as you can see, I, you could probably guess what I have in store for you. Uh, it's going to be my case collection video. Uh, I don't have a whole whole lot, but I, I have a few. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I guess we'll just start from uh, smallest to largest and end up with my Tony Bose collection. Alright, here we go. Uh, here's a few knives I picked up off of eBay. Uh, this is a little pin knife by case. Come on, where's my zoomers? There it is. Uh, let's see if I can get the year on that. I believe that's a uh, 1990s. Got a clip point and a pin blade. 6233 stainless steel. And that is Delrin handles in brown. And where are we going to put you over here? Way up here. And I got another one that's very similar to this. It's a mini Stockman, also in brown Delrin. And this one is an 80s model. Nope, this is a 1991. Looks very similar to the 80s though. So they're both 90s. Very cool. Stainless steel, sheep's foot, and pin blade. Ooh, she's right on the cusp. There you go. Moving on. Uh, we have a little jackknife. This is a serpentine. I got this knife for free. Off of eBay. Nope, that's Amazon. Uh, I was ordering a different knife. And this is what they sent me. Uh, about a $45 knife, I think. Yeah, I had ordered a $75 knife, so they told me just to keep it while I was waiting. Very nice of Amazon. Did not have to do that. Free Serpentine Jack. Uh, next I have a Half Congress by Case. Uh, this one's also from the 90s. Uh, I really like this one. I carry it often. It is in CV. And it is from the 90's. Got a sheep's foot and a pin blade. And there you go. 32052 CV. Really great knife. Trouble zooming today. Uh, next we have a Sodbuster Junior. With your standard skinning Sodbuster blade. And this is... 2021 or 2? Two? 2022? Yeah, that's not a dot. That's just a... There we go. 2022. And that's in carbon steel. 
I'm um, looking to get me some more sodbusters and bone. I like them a lot. This is a great one. Moving along. Uh, let's get through the synthetics real quick. Why don't we? I just have a few more. Uh, this is synthetic mini trapper. Um, this is one of my papa's knives. Uh, he did a lot of business with this company here and uh, they gave him this knife for free and I received it upon his passing and that is a Two thousand and three, I believe. It's got a great clip point and a great spay. Thirty-two oh seven SS. And then I have a full-size trapper, a synthetic. And this one is also a twenty twenty two. Almost looks like stone wash, don't it? I think it might be. Same thing on the pin blade or the spade blade. 3254 SS Great knife. Got this one at the hardware store. Okay, next we're going to move into uh well, before we get to the bone handles, let's just go ahead and knock this one out, because it's the only one I have. I take that back. I have two wooden handled cases. Uh, we'll get to the next one later. Uh, we'll go ahead and show this one, though. This is an electrician's knife. Let's see if we can figure out what year it is. I believe that's 89. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Probably should have looked that up, huh? <laughs> uh, fantastic wooden handle on it. It does not appear this thing was used, even though it has some corrosion. Uh, but you can't feel it. It's just smooth metal there. And that is 12031L. And I have treated the handles with uh, boiled linseed oil. This is a nail breaker. But uh, finish is still there on that blade. As well as my fingerprints. Show you what I'm talking about there. Just an awesome piece of history. Pick this up off of eBay. <laughs> that snap, isn't that ridiculous? This one's pretty similar. Not quite as bad as that first one. Uh, spear and wire stripper blade. Really cool knife. Okay, now we'll move into the bone. Uh, most of my knives consist of bone or stag. Uh, this was the first knife I showcased on YouTube Shorts. Little pin knife and stag. This is 1976.
It's got the four dots. It's a case XX razor edge. This is a modified blade. Uh, originally it was a clip point. They turned it into a sheep's foot. I assume it was broken. Um, still really cool though. And that is 5233SSP on that blade. And I wish I knew what the P stood for, but I don't. Excellent snap on this knife. Really cool. Uh, I have another Serpentine Jack. Uh, this is a I believe that's not nine. So that'd make this a 81. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm okay with criticism. SR62027. And this is can't remember the color of the bone but it is pretty unique reminds me of some kind of pastry or something I would think really good snap And next we have a mini Texas Jack. And that appears to be a 2000 model. Picked this up at the flea market. It is 610096SS. Um, I love toothpicks, so I had to have it. Really cool knife. And moving on, <coughs> I have another toothpick mini. Uh, this one's in saw cut bone instead of jig. Uh, looks like a little piece of bacon. <laughs> That's six one zero zero nine six stainless steel, and this one is two thousand and six. It's a pretty unique shield there. Just noticed. Well, I got this one off of eBay. Pretty sure I was the only bidder on there that day, as I got it for nothing at the starting bid. And uh, next we have one of my grandfather's knives. It's on my mother's side. Um, he loved a case knife. Or an Uncle Henry. It didn't matter to him. This is a 2000. And it's in stainless steel. Well, you gotta watch this sheep's foot here because it does like to close on you while you're opening this one. Um, he used this knife quite a bit, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure he just took an angle grinder to that thing. And that's okay, you know. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. USA. Really cool knife. I love the jigging on this one.
And moving on to uh, one of my great grandfather's knives. I've showcased this one before on my shorts. Uh, this is a 1940s to 1965 Stockman and Redbone. Um, funny thing is, is a family member did not pass this down to me. Um, my father used to take me to the cafe when I was younger. And we would have breakfast at 6 a.m. with all the old timers in the town. And uh, one morning we were having breakfast. See if I can make this happen. And a man that uh, my father used to eat breakfast with, uh, he came in and he just happened to have this knife in his pocket. And he gave me a story about how he traded my great grandfather for this knife on the town square back when people used to swap knives. Uh, you would just hold your hand out. Something like this, and you would drop the knife in the other person's hand and you would swap it like that. You wouldn't see what you were getting until you got it. And he gave me this knife that morning, and he told me how he got it. And I really appreciate that, man. for giving this back to me um, it's been repaired here with some knife resin it appears I'm gonna kill that thing eventually uh, but they did a fantastic job knife still functions as it should had plenty of use still has plenty more but I don't think I'll be using it Really cool knife. Another piece of history. Alright, moving on. Have a Texas Jack here. In amber jig bone. And as any Texas Jack should, it's got two blades. Clip point and a pin blade. And we have a 2009, I believe. And it's an everyone's favorite steel, CV 62032. Just a really good knife. I carry this one often. Really good knife right down the center as a case now should be I know you don't always get it like that but it is what it is ain't it um, this is the knife that uh, I happen to get this one for free from um, this is a case canoe I ordered off of Amazon um, didn't have a canoe and I wanted one right then so I went with Amazon that was a mistake. I uh, won't be doing that again. Just uh, just call a knife store, guys. <laughs> get with a knife store, get with a local knife shop, and just get a knife that way. Um, I guess if if it's your last option, you know, use Amazon. But you never know what's going to happen with the knife. And you might just end up with a free one. But don't expect to be that lucky. And this one is in carbon steel. Um, 62131. Amber jig bone. I need more canoes, guys. It's my only one. Alright, next we have a really cool knife. This is a 2010 chestnut bone muskrat. What's there not to say about this knife? It's just amazing. 
the jigging on the bone, the CV steel, the phone not focusing. There you go. No number needed. Everyone knows it's a muskrat. Yeah. Great knife. Haven't carried this one. Not sure if I will. Um, but I like it a lot. Alright, moving on. Have another Texas Jack. I guess this one is a medium Texas Jack. And this is the full size. Uh, this is an 89, I believe. Show me the money. There we go. Yep, 89 Case XX USA. And it is brand spanking new. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a good pull on that one. 62.92. Texas Jack. Really like to carry a Texas Jack. Alright, and I have another Texas Jack, full size one. Um, I carry this one often. I really like this one. Got the finger groove for the pin blade. What we got there? 62.92. Just cutting some tape with that. Need to wipe that off. And that's an 81 there, guys. I think. Could be an 80. Uh, I really like the shape of that clip point there. Extremely sharp. Texas Jack. Alrighty, let's move into my trappers. Uh, I guess we'll start with my uh, newest ones. I bought this for my wife in 2020 at the hardware store. Um, she says she doesn't like to carry it because it's too pretty. So I said that's fine, I'll do a video on it. And uh, she has a little... Uh, I can't remember the material, it's a case... Uh, I believe it's a small stockman uh, in the blue. Mm, I can't think of what it's called. I don't think it's the Corlon. It might be. Uh, but that's what she carries. Case XX. And for the Spay. 6207. I believe that's raspberry. And then I have this. It's supposed to be Kentucky bluegrass jig bone. Uh, I like the dark, the backside here. I like the darkness of that. The front's a little light to me, but it's got blue in it, so that makes it okay. <laughs> And we have hard to read twenty twenty two. Great snap on the blades sixty two five four SS Kentucky Jig Bone Bluegrass. Trapper. Come back down. And I have another 
Modern Trapper by Case. It's smooth bone and white. And this one is 2022 as well. Must have been the year for buying knives. 6254SS. Case Trapper Smooth Bone. Uh, getting into some older ones here. Pick this up at the flea market. Uh, I got it for $25. So it's a no brainer for me. And that is a 2013. Yeah, 2013. And that's an SS sixty two five four. Really good condition. Minus the scratches of course, but I mean that doesn't make it cut any less. So good trapper there. Uh have another eBay buy. This is a 90s model, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. This is a 2000. And three. Two. 2002. And. It's in CV. And I just got this one, so I haven't had the chance to carry it, but all of my CV blades I carry, I mean all of my blades I carry really, but if they're really special to me, I don't carry them. Um, but CVs need to be carried. Great steel for working. Uh... Also just got this one. Really like this one. This one's a 90s model. And let's see if we can figure out the year. It's hard to see there. I don't see anything. It's uh what does that have to guess? Let's say ninety six. Can't see the dots. And I believe this one is an SS. Yep, sixty two five four. Just a cool knife. I liked the jigging on it and I like the colors. Um yeah. Another cool trapper. And the last trapper I have is this old orange thing from the 90s. And this one is in stainless. 6254 and that was an eBay buy all right let's finish it up with uh, my Tony Bose collection um, I have some swayback gents uh, some sway back uh, my mind just went blank uh, jacks good lord and I have some teardrop gents and jacks and let's get into it here's the first one this is a sway back gent and that is a 2018 with the Warren Cliff. Go 
TV. Oh, golly, that's so small. Six one 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 seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Love the color on this one. Tony Bowes knew how to do a knife. And we have another one. I uh, carried this one. Uh, this one's in blue bone. And the pinstripes on the bolsters. And she is a 2017. Oh, that's easier to read. TB61117. Stainless steel. USA. Uh, this is one of my favorite knife patterns, by the way. Just uh, really cool. I have another one I carry here. It's a 2010, looks like. In orange or crimson, however you want to say it. All these knives have great half stops. Zoom. And gray snap. Um, the last swayback gent I have is this one. It's a 2020. Um, has the really cool case shield that everybody likes. 2020. When they were still stamping it. I wish they would go back to stamping it. Or maybe they still stamp them. Sometimes you get an etched one. It's just not the same in my opinion. Go back to stamping your blades. TB61117. Get some extra fingerprints too. And that's a gray pocket worn bone. Uh, let's move on to the jacks. Swayback jacks. Um, this is a 2008 Swayback jack. I cannot remember the color of the bone. But I really like it. You have the worn cliff and you also get an extra pin blade. And these are 62117. It's hard to see how many ones are in there, but they're in there, I assure you. 2008, Tony Bowes, Swayback Jack. Um, I have another one. I noticed uh, Doom's crew had one like this that he gave away. <laughs> I don't think this is it, but uh, I did just recently get this one. Um... Got some weird coloration there on the bone, but that's okay. Um, I really like it. The worn cliff and the pin. And she is a 2016 GB62117 SS. Tony Bow Swayback Jack. I have uh, a few gents now in the teardrop pattern. Uh, this is a 2014, I believe. 2016. Uh, pocket worn 20th anniversary. 96 to 2016. Really cool knife. This has a brass shield. Don't see that very often. Just beautiful bone. And one pin pinstripe on the bolsters. 
just a cool cool knife um, this one I believe is the 2014 very similar has a different tang stamp though than what you usually see it is a uh, yep 2014 case XX I believe that's the uh, the 1800s date there yes that is but I cannot make it out and I apologize for not knowing that date it's 18 something 9 <laughs> I'm missing the third number I can't get it there oh well Tony Bose teardrop gent 2014. Uh, I have one in Bone Stag, and it's fantastic. Tony Bow's knives are just spot on, never have a gap or anything. That's a 2015. I believe that's still considered a Warncliffe, if I'm not mistaken. Bone Stag Teardrop. Uh, next I have a Teardrop Jack. This one is in Desert Green. And it is a 2015. And on these, the pin blade is on the show side instead of the back side. Let's see if I can read that. TB62028. Stainless steel. There is that. Teardrop Jack, Desert Green. Smooth Bone, by the way. And here is a Smooth Bone Chestnut. Teardrop Jack. With the pin blade on the show side. And the Warren Cliff. And that is a 2018, guys. Beautiful knife. As stated. Where are the gaps? Show me. There ain't. <laughs> Alright, thanks for sticking with me guys. I have two more. We're almost out of here. This was given to me um, by one of my... My father gave this to me. Uh, one of his friends passed. He was left this knife. And he decided to give it to me. So I'm very thankful for that. This is a Tony Bowes Sal Belly in synthetic green. And that is a 2015, the clip point, sheep's foot, and spay with a huge swedge on it. And he used this knife. I don't use this knife, but the man that carried it did. Really cool. Alrighty, for the flagship of the crew, we have a Tony Bowes 
Spear Tribal Log <clears throat> in ebony with his signature. And this is a 2017, I believe. Yep. TB712010L. And that's in stainless. And yeah, we'll get a real good look at this one. Pretty much right down the center. Well, thanks everybody for coming and checking out my video on my case knives. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. This is Thursday, and hope to see everybody tomorrow on the next one. Kaylin signing out.